Hey everyone, Phil Spencer here. Really excited. We're going to get to talk about Grounded. Great game, a game I love playing. We have Adam Brennicke here from the team. Go ahead and introduce yourself. I'm the game director, um, and uh, thanks so much for having me. I'm super excited to you know, be here finally. We're at the end of the runway for, for Grounded, and it's a super exciting time. Yeah, I mean, you know, Grounded is a game we've been playing, what, for like a couple years now. Uh, started in Game Preview, in Game Pass. I think it's been amazing to see what over 10 million people have played the game to date. I've played a ton. I love it. Uh, I can't wait for the 27th of September when we get 1.0 GA story mode, all of the great things that are coming. You know, to me, when I think about all of the games that we're building, one of the things I really love about Grounded is you find a passionate team, which you lead, a passionate team that has a real creative idea, maybe something that isn't ex exactly expected from the studio, um, but you had a vision about something you were gonna go build uh, and that we could work together, foster, grow that, to the point we're at now where it's getting ready to release. I think it's fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's, it's wild to be like in this position to be able to make something so creative. If this is the first time you're, you're hearing about Grounded or seeing Grounded, Grounded is a survival game and you have to survive in this backyard environment. The main goal is to get home. We're at the end of our journey of building the game and, and with the community. And this is the final update for the full complete yard. It's that, the biggest update yet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a bunch of cool surprises, a lot of cool new environments that uh, you know, are, are going to be uh, really fun to to explore. Yeah. Um, the team's pouring their hearts into it right now. And uh, I think it's it's just been so fun to work alongside the community, too, yeah. that we built with, with uh, the early access and game preview programs. So many players have given us great feedback along the way, and it's really shaped how we developed Grounded. Right now, we're actually uh, checking out the one of the early adventure areas in the game. Uh, it's the hedge. You're shrunk down to you know the size of an ant. Yeah. And uh, Actually, I think the ants are bigger than you are. <laughs> They're a little uh, bit bigger, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, the, the players right now are going through this uh, hedge maze, and it's nestled on the side of the house. You're, you're trying to figure out like how you got here and how you're going to get home. You know, Part of the adventure is exploring all these cool areas and environments of the yard. Well, one thing that we're really proud of for our uh, final 1.0 release is our story. Yeah. And I think that's one thing that really separates us from uh, most survival games. And we spent a lot of time world building, adding a lot of characters and storylines to, to the world. Yeah, I think there's, like for me, I played in Game Preview, Game Pass, it was a great co-op game because mm -hmm. we get together as our yep. friends. One of the fantastic ways to go play, build our base. I happened to go visit right around the Xbox Bethesda showcase. It was fun to come out to the studio. You and I getting yep. together um, got me re-energized. So I started, <laughs> I went back into the game and so much had changed. And now I'm kind of, I'm so waiting for that story mode, the setting, because the story, it's a great setting mm -hmm. for a story, um, kind of have a guided beginning yep. of the game. Um, and then the sandbox will obviously just open up oh, yeah, yeah. for players. And uh, how will you deal with like, I assume you'll have some players who will be like me returning mm -hmm. of the 10 million people who have played uh, when it comes out. And then you have other players who are brand new where the idea of, okay, now it's at 1.0. Now is when I'm going to go dive in. Like you as a team, how do you think about those kind of different players coming and how do you design for that? Yeah. So I think the one thing that, uh, you know, we want to invite all the players that have tried Grounded, um, you know, even two years ago, we want yeah. them to come back and try it again and experience the full story, experience the full yard because there's so much content yeah. in this yard. It's a big open world. There's so many cool environments, cool creatures to find. Um, but I also like for the brand new player, you know, it's a survival game first and foremost, yeah. but it's definitely a different twist on a survival game. There's one thing that we're really proud of is the accessibility and approachability. So um, even just right now, we're looking at the Broodmother fight. So this is one of our boss fights in the game where you fight this giant spider in her spider den. It looks kind of funny because this is, we have a arachnophobia mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, that's yeah. one thing that's really important to us is uh, making the game accessible for all different types of players. We have tons of game options. So even if survival seems, you know, that might be a, a hardcore genre of game, we're trying to bring in a huge audience with a lot of options to play the game how you want to play. I think that's really important to us. And we saw that in the community, like certain people just focused on the base building yep. and building, I mean, frankly, almost levels or bases that took over the whole site. Yes. <laughs> of the lake, which was, was awesome. I think you're going to get a lot of people who want 
story. I think the the boss battles and the kind of the the circle of collecting items, building up your crew so you can go in mm-hmm. and take down different parts of the game. Awesome. People built huge fortresses it was, it was and crazy. spent it was crazy. an enormous amount of time building these crazy, crazy, huge forts. Um, and then that gave us ideas of adding more. Yeah. So we added mushroom bricks um, and... We're, we want to add more building materials in the future. Well, and that loop that you're you're commenting on now, I don't think that it's not always recognized how important that is. Is like a team has a vision, that vision meets reality of through Game Pass and yeah. preview, ten million people play and continue to play, and then they're going to give you feedback, and that will actually change your production schedule, mm-hmm. right? Because you're going to listen and watch what people do. Yeah, even even as simple as like sitting in chairs. I know that was a fun one that we put in like a year yeah, ago. Yeah. Um, that was a huge ask. Just like people just want to lounge around in their base, right? They built this huge, just to now it's chill. something, yeah, it's to chill, right? <laughs> one thing for our uh, 1.0 release, uh, there's a couple more surprise uh, boss fights that we're really excited about. Um, Any so- hints or no? Well, we did show off the Mantis, yeah. so that's something that I know a lot of players have been asking for for a long time, to fight a Brain Mantis in Grounded. So we are delivering that experience, and uh, I'm, we got a couple more uh, surprises. That's awesome. Well, congrats to the team on getting to this point. We're not quite there yet, yeah. 27 <laughs> September. <laughs> Thank you. I think for everybody who's played, myself included, I just love the craftsmanship and passion that clearly the team has in, in putting together such an amazing game. That's a great game to play either by yourself or with your friends. Um, can't wait to see it come out. And it's great to be here and get to show people more of the game. So thanks for all of that. Yeah, thank you.